Good morning rockers. How's it going? I am in, <laughs> can you see me? I'm in sunny Ireland as you can tell by the clouds behind me. Uh, we've we've got our new place. It's a very small, well by Austrian standards it's a very small cottage. Here it is. Believe it or not, there are five little rooms in here. There's one decent sized room, that's the bedroom. But the, the garage is going to be used as a workshop, so that can't be a studio. And uh, this house is pretty small, but I'll give you an idea of what it looks like. The reason I wanted to make this video was because I wanted to show you that, just like a lot of guys out there, now I'm starting from scratch. The only thing that I have as far as music production goes is uh, a PC, a MIDI keyboard, uh, a little drum pad, and uh, a few effects pedals. I don't even have a mixer. I do have a, one or two microphones, maybe three, and uh, not really much else. I've got cables and, and all of the power supplies and things like that, but I do not have uh, any synthesizers or uh, drum machines or samplers or anything. But I want to give you a look at this place, you know, because a lot of people are in the same boat as me. I mean, you know, I'm in my 40s now. I'm 44, or turning 44. And, uh, you know, I'm back to scratch. I'm back to being like a teenager that doesn't have anything except their PC. So have a look at this room. It's a little bedroom and we're going to convert it into a recording studio within the next few months. Let's have a look. Sorry, Randy. You can sit down now. Make a room for you. There you go, buddy. Hey. All right, it's a very old school Irish place. You know, got the classic oven and all of that. It's quite nice here, though. Anyway, this, like a lot of people, is a bedroom and you know you hear people talking about bedroom production and bedroom DJs and bedroom beats or whatever uh, nice view very peaceful out here we don't have too many neighbors at the moment I'm stuck uh, removing the the doors off of this cupboard you know because I need some room and the bed is going to disappear out of here and I'm going to stick that bed also in the bedroom um, so that we have two beds in there not because we don't like sleeping in the same bed but just because I need to get this bed out of here and the bedroom is very long uh, as you can see it's got a little bit of wood panelling on the ceiling I like that, that can stay as it is you know, I've got to change a few things I'm going to replace this with a low wattage LED and uh, here is going to be a desk and like I said I'm really starting from scratch so I might even make the desk out of these cupboard doors or something like that screw some legs onto them and I really have to like, basically start from nothing my PC is here but it's it's in a box in the cut in the garage and uh, for a lot of people this is how a studio might kick off It doesn't look like much now, but by the time I'm done with it, it should look a lot like a recording studio, at least a project studio. Uh, later on, maybe in a couple of years, uh, if I have enough money, I'm going to build a studio out here. The legal maximum is 40 square meters, but I think I can do pretty good with a 40 square meter building if it has a tall ceiling. And then I can record drums and bands and things like that. But as you can see, it's quite a rural area. And for now, I'm stuck in the bedroom. All right. I know it's not very interesting. Uh, but I like to think, well, I don't like to think. I'm sure for many, many people, this is where their studios begin. You take a room or a bedroom from your home or your apartment. And then you want to dedicate it, dedicate it to um, your music production. Don't have a laundry room that doubles as a recording room 
or a, uh, a washing room or something like that. There's going to be lots of noises and even lots of uh, mold, mildew and uh, water damage possibly from trying to double up. Uh, you know, maybe you could build it in a large cupboard. You don't need a lot of space, but you do need enough space so you can hear the monitors properly. And also we will need some kind of treatment on these walls. I'm not going to buy that cheap fluffy stuff that everyone has. I'm going to uh, probably build some things out of wood. There's a little spider there. I don't know if you can see the fella. All right, just showing you how <laughs> basic this is. If you're like me, then you're probably starting off with something very similar. I don't know how big this room is. Maybe it's uh, three meters by three meters or four meters. Three meters by three meters, possibly. It's a square. Yeah, so I've got nine square meters to work in. It doesn't sound like a lot. But the idea is that uh, if, you, if you pack everything onto the desk and uh, you sort of keep everything compact, you know, using samplers and sequences and things. You don't really need a lot of room, but I do have an electric piano, which I would probably like to bring into this room. The electric piano was worth quite a lot of money, and it also uh, plays a lot of different kinds of sounds, so it's like a synthesizer. Uh, so maybe it ends up over here somewhere. At the moment, I'm reluctant to take the whole cupboard out because I might want to use it for storage space. But maybe I could stick that cupboard in another room and maybe that'd be more practical. All right, so, yep, today's work is going to be unscrewing shelves and things and trying to make some sense uh, out of this thing that is a... It used to be a girl's bedroom because the walls were painted pink previously. If you've got uh, a pretty small studio, you can leave a comment below. Do you work in something lower than nine square meters or smaller than nine square meters? Maybe it's longer. I could measure it today. I'll let you know. Please uh, give a thumbs up. I'm just trying to keep in contact with you guys because I haven't forgotten about you. And it's really important that people like us, I mean, starting at the very, very bottom, uh, have a bit of a support network. Any questions or comments, you can leave them below in the video. And thanks for watching More Base Workspace. My name's John Green. And I'm here to give you a hand putting your studio together too. So if you have any questions, I'll give you some tips and advice. And generally speaking, it'll always be the cheapest or at least the most economical way for beginners to start their studios. Professionals don't need to watch videos like this because professionals have already got their stuff set up. Uh, but for beginners and people who are just starting off new or into a new house, this might be a helpful video. If you watch the series, you'll see this room develop. It's going to be quite interesting. Alright, so stay tuned. More base workspace.